it's become very clear to me that getting good at people is a skill set that will continue to serve me for the rest of my life. So when I'm faced with challenges, difficult conversations, people who are being assholes, people who are just needling at my ego, I'm trying to frame it as a way to practice getting good at people. I'll give you an example. When people are being difficult or challenging, I'm like, you know what? This is a great time to learn how to handle people who want things from you that you can't necessarily provide. This is a great example of how to handle challenging, delicate situations. How can I ask questions in a way that will allow them to save face and prevent me from having to do things that I'm incapable of or don't want to do? Hey man, really love to meet up. Like, let's do this. I'm free on this day. Come do this. Come do this. Hey, come on. I need you to do this. I really want your help on this. Can you come do that? It's an opportunity to get good at people. When someone gives you a tight deadline and sends you an email or when someone sends you an email and then your blood starts to boil and you get hot, it's an opportunity to get good at people. In those situations, I got to take a step back. I just have to pause when agitated. You know what I mean? I just got to give it a second. I'll come back when I'm not hot. And then I'm able to approach it from the frame of, okay, how can I use this as an opportunity to get better with people? What question can I ask to get clarification? What don't I understand? Where am I falling short? What have I done wrong? Everything comes back to me. If I combine that with extreme ownership, nine times out of 10, everything is okay. But when I let my ego take over, when I rather be right than happy, that's when I have regrets about my behavior and how I've treated others. It doesn't happen very often, but there are times where I'm like, oh, I could have handled that better. I shouldn't have said it that way. Or I shouldn't have typed that out. I should have sent a video or gotten on a call. My tone was misinterpreted there. That was not good. I need to be better about that. That self-critical ownership of your own behavior and actions is just one of the many ways to get better at people. So when it comes to people, there are a handful of resources that I've used to develop this skill. The first and most powerful is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. The second is Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink. The third is Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. And the fourth is The Go-Giver Leader. There's also The One Minute Manager. Those five books have really helped me understand what skills I need to work on and apply to get better at this. Because if you can get good at people, if you can master people, you can move mountains. You can literally do anything. I believe that's what makes the greats so special. I believe that that is the reason why certain people are seemingly able to do impossible tasks because they're good at people. They understand how to fit their vision inside of the bigger vision. They understand how to get other people what they want by helping them get what they want. They literally say, you can have this if you help me do this. If you help me execute on this, this is the reward that will come your way by, by, by getting it done. It's a powerful thing. And I've realized that I am a total novice and I have so much to learn. So much to learn. This is going to be a, a lifelong quest. Whether it's getting good with my kids, my wife, my direct reports, customers, business partners. It's all the same. I hope you enjoy those books.